best free things to do in Lisbon. Lisbon is one of the most charismatic and vibrant cities in Europe. You will be amazed by its rich and varied history, buzzing nightlife, glorious year-round climate, striking modernism and progressive thinking. With many things to do and admire, Lisbon will surely steal your heart and probably your wallet, too. But not your wallet, when you know about these free things to do in the city. So let's go on to explore the best ones. Watch till the end for an amazing bonus tip. This is Cheap Travel Buddy, your go-to place for budget travel tips. Subscribe to the channel for more free travel content. Let's get into the video. Number 1. Join a free guided walking tour. Like other European cities, one of the best ways to discover Lisbon is by joining a free walking tour. You can learn about the city's culture, history, and secrets from a passionate local guide. They will show you around different neighborhoods such as Alfama, Graça, Moraria, Baisa, and Bellum. You can find many free walking tours online such as Take Lisboa, Chill Out Lisbon Free Tour, and Discover Walks Lisbon. Remember to tip your guide at the end if you enjoyed the time, as they mostly rely on tips for their services. Number 2. Visit the Church of São Roque. The Church of São Roque is one of the most beautiful churches in Lisbon, with an extravagant interior design, featuring Baroque styles. It is also one of the oldest churches in the city, dating back to the 16th century. You can admire the rich decoration, the paintings, the tiles, and the gold leafwork for free every day, from 9.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Just don't be too loud or disrespectful inside the church, because it's still a place of worship and not a disco. And don't forget to light a candle for Santo Antonio, the patron saint of Lisbon and love. Who knows, maybe he will help you find your soulmate in this city. Number 3. Enjoy free art exhibitions. Lisbon has many art galleries and museums that offer free shows throughout the year. You can see contemporary art, photography, design, illustration, and more at places like Centro Cultural de Belém, Museo Colacao Berardo, Galeria Zé dos Boas, and LX Factory. Check their websites for more information on what's on. Even though they have free entry, most require you to reserve a spot in advance. Just don't be too critical or snobbish about the art, as you might offend the artists or the curators. Number 4. Take advantage of free museum Sundays. Most Lisbon museums have free admission on Sundays at certain times. It's an excellent chance to explore the variety of museums located in the city. The National Museum of Ancient Art, National Tile Museum, National Pantheon, and Geronimos Monastery are some of the best landmarks free on Sundays from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. The Gulbenkian Museum is free to enter after 2 p.m. Most of them welcome walk-ins, but it's always better to check their website to see the ticket reservation policies, as each has its own. I have listed all the links to museums' websites and other necessary links in my Medium article. Check it to access all links and even more content. The link is in the description. Number 5. Hit Lisbon Beaches in Summer Located on the Mediterranean coast, Portuguese beaches are the perfect place to spend the summer. Lisbon has a long coastline of sandy beaches that are best for sunbathing, swimming, and surfing. You can easily reach them by public transport or car and enjoy a day of fun and relaxation. Some of the most popular beaches are Carcavelos, Cascais, Estoril, and Costa da Caparica. You can also hop on a bike at Cascais Beach and cycle along the scenic waterfront for free. Don't be too shy or modest on the beach, because some people might go topless or nude. When in Rome, do as the Romans do. Or in this case, when in Lisbon, do as the Lisboetas do. Bonus tip. Getting the Lisboa card is a great idea to save money when visiting Lisbon. This card lasts one to three days, based on which one you get. It gives you unlimited access to Lisbon's public transport, free entry to over 20 museums and monuments, discounts on many shops and restaurants, and a complimentary tourist guide full of helpful city info. All this under $25 is a bargain. It is valid for a full calendar year after its purchase date, just in case you need to postpone your trip, and is validated upon its first use. Check the link in the description to get the card. Number 6. Take in the Lisbon Parks and Gardens. Lisbon has many green spaces where you can breathe fresh air, admire the flowers and trees, and have a picnic or a nap. Some of the most beautiful parks and gardens are Jardim da Estrela, 
Jardim da Cerca de Graca, and Parque Eduardo VII. The best one to visit is the Estufa Fria, a botanical garden with exotic plants from all over the world. It has free entry on Sundays and holidays until 2 p.m. It's also a great place to escape from the city crowds and meditate if you're into it. Just don't forget to bring sunscreen, water, and insect repellent because you don't want to end up like a roasted chicken, a dehydrated prune, or a mosquito buffet. Number 7. Watch and play with the money in Museo do Dinero. If you are interested in learning about the history and evolution of money, you should visit the Museo do Dinero or the Money Museum. It is located in the former head office of the Banco de Portugal, which also includes the remains of the 700 years old medieval wall of King Dinis. It displays different aspects of money, such as its origins, functions, forms, materials, production, and design. You can see coins, banknotes, medals, stamps, and other objects from various periods and countries. You can also touch an authentic gold bar, weigh yourself in gold, design your own banknote, and play interactive games, making this museum a favorite among kids. It is open from Wednesday to Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. and is always free to enter. So these are the top free things to do in Lisbon. Which one of these did you like the most? Let me know in the comments. Follow us on Instagram at Cheap Travel Buddy for more travel content. Also, make sure to watch our other travel guides in Berlin, Barcelona, and Istanbul. Have a good day. Keep traveling.